Hello. I know. I do that because it runs it off from the kitchen. <laughs> Guess what? Tonight we are using Pressure Cooker XL. Yes, my friend, you're coming back into the business. So, um, we'll take care of our seal and what have you. We haven't used it in a little while. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I am not going to turn it on to sear mode because I do not want to burn the bottom layer of everything that I put in there because it's going to take a while to assemble. So, I'm going to spray it with some non stick cooking spray, which I know that they advertise it is non stick. However, they put this pattern in the bottom of the of the of the tray that is porous and everything wants to stay in there. So, we're going to start and tonight we are going to make pepperoni lasagna. So, it's a little favorite of mine, a little unconventional. Uh, sometimes I mix it with Italian sausage, sometimes I just use pepperoni, which tonight is what we're going to do. So, I'm going to tell you what you will need for pepperoni lasagna. We have one big giant jar of, I use Riker Traditional. I usually half and half uh, spaghetti sauce with marinara for this, but Sid is not a fan of the tomatoes in marinara. So, we're going to go just straight with with this to make him happy tonight. Um, you need um, pepperoni. I have a one half and one whole bag of pepperonis. Um, ricotta cheese. Parmesan cheese. And of course, mozzarella cheese. I also add a little Italian seasoning when I put my layers of the sauce just for a little extra kick to it. Now, um, I normally, if it was just me, would saute some onions and olive oil on the bottom uh, to give flavor to the base. Said so does not do onions, so we do not get to saute onions in the bottom. However, we will be putting some olive oil in the bottom of our pan, and uh, we're going to help from that whole burn to the bottom of the pan layer business that happens with this particular cooking vessel, and it does. So um, it's really pretty easy to assemble this. Um, let me turn you so you can see more of the pressure cooker here. So we're going to uh, take our sauce. I'm going to put a good layer of it down here in the bottom of the pressure cooker. So we give a good base so when it heats up, it um, has something to keep the base layer of the noodles. So I have a half a box here, and these are the oven-ready lasagna noodles. Um, I put one of these right down the middle, and then I break one. Long ways, and uh, kind of just patchwork it in here. Um, little more than a little more than two. Usually, I use a little extra one to kind of fill in some of the gaps. Now you don't have to make sure it's completely covered; just a layer of coverage. So then we're gonna go back in with some tomato some of our sauce on top of that. Now we're going to make a mixture of our cheeses. Make it a little easier to get them into. Bless you. Sorry, I wasn't focused on my manners, love. Let's get a bowl here. Use a plastic bowl. Um, it's a little bit big. Let me put this in a little bit. It's a big giant square. Of course, you never have the one size you want when you want it. Okay, so here we use this one. Okay. Alright. So, 
open this ricotta cheese here. On top of. Get my, my spoon, actually, that came with this. Get me a good sized scoop of ricotta cheese. Probably about, about half of the package. And then I'm going to add to that. Let me see. Oh, good, healthy portion of the Parmesan cheese. And then a good handful of mozzarella. Now that isn't going to be all the mozzarella that I'm going to include on each layer, but it does help make this a more spreadable mixture. So we're going to mix all these things together with our Italian seasoning. Put that in there. And we're going to mix this up. We've got our little Italian cheese mixture. Okay, so we're going to make three layers. So I'm going to use a third of this on each. So I just kind of level it out and then kind of make my dividing line. So I'm going to estimate, just trying to make sure it's all mixed good together. Just kind of level it out and estimate this into thirds and take that portion of it at a time. So there's our first third. Put it down in here. Take a spatula, which I have. <laughs> really? Okay. We're bothering since TV. Uh, so uh, we're spreading this around to evenly around on the tomato in the tomato sauce, kind of almost stirring them in together. And uh, spreading these across evenly. Get ourselves another good handful of mozzarella cheese. And go ahead and put it in there. And then we get us a layer of pepperonis. Go ahead and finish up this little partial package here first. So I just give me a stack and I just lay a layer like you would you're addressing a pizza, but I do touch side to side. You can't really see in the pot, but here, I'll try to show you in just a moment. Um, so I just make a layer of pepperoni in here. So, we're now up like this. Oops, falling over. But you get the point. So, pepperoni, lasagna. Okay, so let me readjust my pepperoni and stuff that I went the wrong way there. Everything back where it goes. All right. All right. Technical errors. Okay. So, I uh, will then just dab a sauce on top of that and add another layer of our pasta. It's amazing how to just make it into a puzzle. It almost always comes out right. Okay, so we have another layer of our Pasta. Doesn't have to look pretty. Go with another layer of our sauce. Another third of our cheese mixture. Again, we're going to go with the spatula here and going to make sure that it gets spread around evenly. And get all melty and delicious during the cooking process. So, got that all in there. Spread around and happy. A handful of Parmesan of mozzarella. Back with our pepperonis again. And uh, like I said, we'll do three layers. 
So we're on layer two. This is a great little quick, I mean, throw it together, turn on the pressure cooker, come back later, it's done. Throw some Texas garlic toast in the oven and cook dinner. It's one of my favorite throw together meals because you're not cooking any meats. Unless you want to, you want to, wanted to uh, cook some Italian sausage. You would pre-cook that before, beforehand, okay? So we're just going to go with a little tiny splash of the sauce on top of this. And I just find that the wetness helps the noodles soften. So we finished this box. So we'll open our second one. Make a lot of different kinds of lasagnas. So I use these noodles for different things. So I always keep a couple boxes around for different little projects. It's amazing what you can put between a lasagna and pasta and noodles and make delicious. Ooh, come out of mm. Don't be party time. Oh, the pants can fit right there. All right. So we're making progress here. We got our lasagna needles all down. Sauce. Let's see. We are on our third layer, so and we're right about the right way place on our sauce. Our third portion of our cheese mixture going in. My trusty spatula here to distribute that around in here. Just kind of chopping it into pieces and spreading it around, mixing it with the sauce. So we're really close to our line, bell line and our fresh cooker, not, not over it, but we're in there. So it's a lot deeper, a uh, lot, lot more food than you think it is. Um, it's easily enough for dinner and lunch for us. It even was in here for family of three. So. I'm going to this a little bit of sauce. So, we're going to top the last thing of noodles and then we'll just put our finishing topping on and uh, we're about ready to go. So, so we got three layers and our, then our, I'm just going to top it off here with just some sauce, some pepperonis, and some cheese. For parents' reasons, we're gonna go with the rest of our sauce here. Delicious on the top. Finish that off. We're already almost done. watch. So, somebody's arrived to make sure he makes his, gets his little face in the video. What do you say? Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I, I want to get in every video when you cook. Every one? Yeah, because when I see that star, I come and cook with you. When you see the star, you know it's time for cooking time? Yeah. Okay. Because I well, always... You know what we're making? Huh. Pepperoni lasagna. Ooh, can we, can I help? It's already done. Ooh. Can you see inside? Can I put one in there? Huh? Oh. 
Thank you. <laughs> You see it? Is it yummy? It's not hot yet, so you can get up there. Come here. It's not turned on yet, so you can be by it. Yeah, it's not hot. I haven't turned it on. It's not on. Are you making pizza? It's kind of like pizza. It's pepperoni lasagna. Look, it smells good, doesn't it? Smell it. I know. It smells like pepperonis. It smells like pepperoni. Smell like pepperoni pizza? Yeah. Do you think it smells like that too? I do too. I think you're absolutely right. So now we're going to put the rest of our, we're going to probably keep like a handful just to throw on can top because it gets a little juicy. Can I, just, can I pick up some in there? Here. Put this one. Okay. I'll okay. save a little to throw on top after it's done. Done. After we cook it, we're gonna try it on right now. We're gonna put a little extra Ooh, what, Parmesan what, cheese on top. That that looks just like a a little Italian no, or seasoning no, for that, a little no, green that, color. That, I mean, that pretty. Green, that green bottle with the stuff in there. The looks olive oil. Like, uh, it's olive oil. Like flour, right? No, that's olive oil. It just looks like flour. It's olive oil. It looks like it, right? Look, olive oil. Smell that. I know. It smells delicious. I think I'm about to eat it. You're going to eat it? Okay, well, I have to turn this on, so you have to get back down. Okay, Ugh. okay ready? I, I ate it, so can I have a snack? <laughs> you ate. What would you have to eat for a lunch a little while ago? Huh? Oh, it's already all ready to go. All right, I guess I, I eat it prepared all. it last time. So, okay, so we're going to put our lid on. What can I do? We're going to set this to... What is it? I can only touch this. What? You can only touch this. This? Yes. These are not scissors. It's not scissors. They're just... They just look like scissors. Scissors. Look. So we're going to set it to chicken and beef. We're going to push it to 20 minutes. And um, we're going to let it neighbors. pressure up. Let's Sorry. Make sure it's on pressure. It's on lock. Give me the times. <laughs> okay, so this will pressure up. We'll let it cook for 20 minutes. We'll clean up our buttons? 20 minutes. That it's already tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Going into pressure mode. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Make can sure it pressures up. We'll do that for 20 minutes. We'll be back to can show you a. We'll be back to show you a. After Odo, um, and I might check in with you all. It's, so, be back with you. Well, hello. Yes, I'm having hair issues this evening. So, we've been having pressure cooker issues. However, our meal is cooked, and um, it is ready to put our final touches on. I am a little upset with our pressure cooker company however i will let me let me bring you to the video to the source it is a little soupy on top whenever it's finished cooking whether the pressure work cooker works correctly or not which this one didn't and so we'll be coming to you next with a cuisinart uh, pressure cooker instead which has much better reviews and obviously pressurizes on each attempt. So, but for our application, this did work. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the, with the final little bit of lasagna with a, a mozzarella cheese and a little additional Parmesan just to get the top layer all nice and beautiful. So we are now fully cooked. I have the pressure cooker on warming mode. Now we'll leave it there until we're ready to eat because we eat late. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop you guys out a portion of meal. Go! 
so we have you know they can hear you right so we're cutting the section of the lasagna out of the pressure cooker comes out all gooey and delicious so this is a portion of pepperoni lasagna hot gooey and delicious from the crappy pressure cooker however it did I did manage to manipulate the system to cook it. I'll take a little extra Parmesan cheese, place it on top, have a delicious meal with a piece of garlic bread, ready to go. Now, it doesn't always, it doesn't cut up pretty like regular lasagna, but every scoop tastes just as delicious, so don't hesitate to make. See you next time. How did your lasagna taste? Thanks. Yummy. How yummy was it? Yummy. It was a little hot. Mm. It's not mm. hot, hot, it's but hot too. It has to, but it has to cool down, right? It's yes, 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 yes. Piping hot. Do you love it? Okay, so we're gonna cool off Zane's portion for him for eat for later. Bye. Shelly's about to take her first taste. Wait, wait, no, wait.